Well, we got a new restaurant in Amarillo, Texas. Big Beaners. That's the name of the restaurant. It's got this funny little bean on it. He's got a mustache. Big Beaners. And I just brought out this can of beans. I don't know why. Well, this is an article in Texas Monthly. And this is kind of, looks to me like a freedom of speech test going on here. And this, uh, I believe the owner's no stranger to the law. I believe he's a defense, a well-known defense attorney in Amarillo. Jesse Quackenbush. In Amarillo, a Mexican restaurant named Big Beaners provokes controversy. Last Thursday, I logged on to Facebook and I saw a post that knocked me in the gut. It was an op-ed about a new Mexican restaurant in Amarillo named Big Beaners. The word beaner is a racial slur with a long and ugly history. The restaurant's red and green sign also features a cartoonish kidney bean mascot. Let me jump to the article here. So I'm having trouble reading this. Complete with a handlebar mustache, a sombrero, and pointy cowboy boots. Together, the name and logo have all the trappings of debasing caricature that is long stereotyped Mexicans, Mexican Americans, and their food from the term wetback. It's funny that they bring another term in here just to like, just to let you know that hey, this this there's a term beamer, and then there's a there's there is a term that seems a lot worse, wetback, and they want to throw that in the article here. That's just. It, it seems to me a lot of people getting their feelings hurt real bad here. And uh, most of them aren't more likely Mexicans. Most of the people I see trying to boycott this business are, uh, A, people in masks. They, I'll show you. <laughs> Let me skip over here. I was looking at who is boycotting this. Uh, community members seeking to boycott Big Beaner's restaurant. Community members with masks on their face. There's just something creepy about that. If I would have sh shown you this article uh, four months ago and shown you there's a restaurant that's getting boycotted by people with masks over their face. Anyway, back to the story. Yeah, people with masks do not like Big Beaner's restaurant. I mean, they might as well throw hoods over their heads. That's how, that's how they look in that picture. Uh, the news had already caused a ruckus on Reddit. Oh, Reddit, give me a break. Where some presumably Mexican-American users wrote that the name didn't offend them, while others called it very racist and marveled. This can't be real. And the op-ed I've seen on Facebook, Amar Amarillo radio DJ Danny Wright, wrote that he initially assumed the name was a joke. Well, guess what, Danny? The name is a joke, but it's also the name of a restaurant. See, sense of humor, sense of humor's not really allowed, and uh, the the rights, the rights of an individual are really based on how pe other people feel about it here in the U.S. That you know, that's really what freedom of speech. If if what if your freedom of speech involves somebody feeling not so good in the gut, or they just feel outraged, then that's where it ends, folks. Okay, he asked, would you accept a store that sold swimsuits called wetbacks? You see how they continue to bring this other word in? How about this? Would you uh, would you accept a Mexican restaurant that, that sells a lot of beans and rice called Beaners? Big Beaners. I don't know. Let, let the people vote with their dollars. I think not. Wright was referring to another demeaning term. One first in, used in print in 1920. Did we know the term? Okay. <laughs> We're, we live in Texas. We know the term. It was, and, and that is a very demeaning term there. And But you know what? I would If somebody was foolish enough to try to make, name their restaurant that, I would, I would say give them the U.S. flag and say go for it. It was also used in the name for President Dwight D. Eisenhower's mid-50s mass deportation of Americans called Operation Wetback. Over the weekend, as people across the nation protested the death of another staged uh, police killing, I'm sorry, the death of yet another unarmed black man in police custody, things intensified. A change.org petition calling for restaurant owner Jesse Quackenbush to change the name and logo popped up. And as of this writing, about 6,700 people had signed it. I'll bet there's a similar uh, 
paper with people who support the business. Is there not? I would sign it. Let, let's, let's see how many people support it. Someone also broke windows at the restaurant, according to a Facebook. Ooh, if you break windows at a restaurant, you definitely got to change the name, okay? Does that mean that all the Starbucks that got their windows broken, do they got to change their name? The CNN, it, 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 it's just bogus. I know it's just, just this article, uh, Texas Monthly usually has awesome articles. This article is written by somebody that's really got butt hurt, and it, and it shows. It's it's really pathetic in how little he actually talks about the actual issue. He, he talks about everything but the actual story. To understand the controversy, it's worth taking a step back and learning about the history of the word beaner. Dude, we know about the word beaner, okay? I mean, this is just pathetic. Well, the pe uh, pejorative derives from the millennia-long importance of beans to the Mexican diet, while from the white American perspective, beans are often seen as poverty food. They're high in... New is, this, is this the dumbest article you've ever seen? I also found an early instance of the word in a 1979 Fort Worth Star telegram story, which acknowledged that it was in usage at the time. Quote, now the brown skinned people are conks or beaners or aliens. That's what the government calls them, aliens, illegal aliens. A 1985 AP article in the Tyler, Texas Courier Times Oh my word, they're, they're referencing an article from the 80s in Tyler, Texas. <laughs> Mentioned Beaner, an epileptic pet bobcat from Mexico. Over the decades, though. <laughs> Beaner, an epileptic pet bobcat from Mexico. Texas Monthly, did you read this article before it was... Did the editor read this before it was published? I'm embarrassed as a fellow Texan. Frankly, if you call Mexicans a Beaner, you're a 70 year old racist at this point, Arlano said. Now they just call you illegal or an illegal alien. You know what's funny? I'll bet I'll bet these people don't even work with Mexicans. I work with Mexicano Siempre Dia. I work with them every day, okay? These people don't get hurt about stuff like this. They laugh about stuff like this. Who typically gets their butt hurt about this? People who make a lot of money. And, and they need their feelings hurt about things that don't even involve them. This is funny. You know, white people get their butt hurt about stuff like this. Okay, listen to this. In 2018, a man named Pedro visited a Los Angeles area Starbucks. His coffee arrived with the word Beaner written on both cups. Dude, do you know how big Starbucks is? I mean, this could, of course, you're going to get somebody doing something stupid. What does that have to do with this story? Starbucks, which was already planning employee bias training due to an unrelated incident, apologized. And in January of last year, the New York Times used Beaner as an answer in its crossword. The question was about baseball. Dude, that has nothing to do with this story at all. The paper they ran in the Can you get back to the story, dude? This is the dumbest article I've ever seen. For Omar Lopez, who grew up in the panhandle town of Wheeler, now lived in Amarillo, Beaner called to mind painful memories from junior high and high school. Okay, it is a term me and my other Mexicans around my school would get called by some racist white people when we got into arguments. They wanted to be edgy. Same with wetback. Oh, got to bring the word wetback in every time. Okay, he's the administrator for the Amarillo Progressives Facebook group. The page members are currently... You know, you want to know, you want to know something racist is how they pronounce Amarillo in uh, Texas. We, I could write a stupid article about that, but nobody cares and it don't matter. That's a Texas thing. When you move to Texas, you very purposely mispronounce all Spanish names in your town. You're going to find <laughs> this is how they do it in Texas. Big Beaner's owner, Jesse Quackenbush, defended his choice of the name and the logo in a Facebook screed, noting that he'd gotten some complaints, I have no intention of changing the name or cowering to pressure from these troublemakers, most of whom are not even Hispanic. He added that he'd gotten a call from Abel Bosquez, president of the Amarillo chapter of the League of United Latin American Citizens. Oh my word, we got bureaucracy involved, folks. 
He had no intentions of listening or understanding, so I cut the conversation short by advising him and his alleged complainers to go F off and go to Starbucks. <laughs> oh, I, I just want to go out and uh, buy this guy a, a meal and buy him a beer. Th this guy's great. Quackenbush wrote, adding, Abel Vasquez is nothing more than a self-serving wannabe politician with the common sense of a shit fly. <laughs> There's, there's, they're speaking your mind. That's what America's about right there, folks. Any, anybody get their feelings hurt? Yeah, you live in America. It's hard, isn't it? When we spoke by phone later that day, Quackenbush said that he probably treated Abel a bit curtly and unprofessionally. He called me. And the tone that he had to me, I felt was intimidating and strong-armed. And I didn't appreciate it. Oh, you know it was. You know it was, all you business owners know what I'm talking about. Vasquez tells a slightly different tale. The two did speak by telephone. He did mention the complaints, explain how the sign and the name of the restaurant were hurtful, and inquired if Quackenbush could change the name and logo. Dude, it's not your business! However, he says he didn't mention LULAC or the Hispanic Chamber. Uh, he, Quackenbush went off the deep end. I love it when, when you go and use your rights, you go off the deep end. Or you're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> And then he hung up on me. Okay, so so what? You probably didn't appreciate you calling him. Does he not have a right to hang up on you? Vasquez told Monthly that he heard the epithet Beaner often during his youth in the panhandle in the 60s. His name and sign are derogatory and racist, Vasquez says. There were other names he could have used. Dude, it's his business. Don't go there. Okay, I'll let you read the rest of this article. But there's another, there's another thing on here. Community members seeking to boycott Big Beaner's restaurant by Maria Serrano. A local group of masked people that took off their hoods. No, I just said that. A local group is seeking to boycott the Big Beaner's restaurant, which is scheduled to open later. They want the people who work at Big Beaner's restaurant to lose their jobs and have no income. They also want this restaurant who is already having hard times from... Mask wares and COVID crap. They're already having a hard enough time. These people want to make it harder. You see these people? Are their names listed here? Nope, they got masks on. So, they're, you know, it's like a little clan group. Oh, jeez, this is just sad. The group was created after a Facebook post and continuing conversations on what could be done. This is the... Amarillo branch of the NAACP. <laughs> we don't want this in our community. A petition is not going to do anything good, but a boycott will do a lot of good to shut that business down and put them out of business and make their family go into bankruptcy, said Ryan Brown, a lawyer and partner of Blackburn and Brown. Dude, you probably wouldn't even go there anyway. Who cares? This is a troubling pattern, and we don't want to see businesses using their freedom of speech anymore. I'm sorry. We don't want to see businesses exploiting prejudice and racism in an attempt to make money, especially at a time like this. Especially at a time like this? What does a time like this have to do with this whole discussion? This is just sad. Thank you.